All right guys, so this is gonna be a quick update video on the Flywheel Explorer LR. So as you guys know, in the original review video, I was experiencing some weird OSD issues when I was flying it around. The OSD would like shift around or maybe disappear really briefly and then come back. And it didn't affect any of the flight characteristics or in terms of like fail safe or anything like that, no, no loss of connection or anything. It was just kind of distracting. And I went back and forth with Flywheel and I was like, well, what's going on here with this? Why is this happening? I couldn't really get a straight answer from them. Uh, basically, I think it had, it, well, they told me it had to do with the fact that the the Vista UARTs that send the OSD information back and forth to the flight controller are being, uh, was set up via soft serial. So that I thought was strange because I've had Vista working on soft serial previously without any problems. Um, but I didn't know why it was occurring on this one. Long story short, it turns out that this is some sort of a beta flight bug. And if you're using anything past 4.1.1, this bug can occur. Um, so what they did is they told me, hey, you know, just uh, uh, flash 4.1.1 back to the flight controller and uh, dump this, uh, this CLI dump back into the uh, flight controller and you'll get your settings back and you can fly. But I noticed that the uh, dump that they gave me was a 4.20 dump and I didn't want to uh, put together a 411 firmware with a 4.20 dump. So what I did was I actually flashed 411, applied the custom defaults, and then I selectively pulled over like the resource remapping and all that kind of stuff, uh, the soft serial setup, all that. Um, in in from 4.20 from their dump into my flight controller, then I redumped this out as a as a default for 411. So, if you guys want to fix the OSD problem, if that's bothering you, then just revert back to 411. All you have to do is go into beta flight and update the flight uh, flight controller with the Flywoo 411 firmware, um, and then. Once you flash that, apply the custom defaults, and then go to the um, link in the description with the where I've actually uploaded my CLI dump with the default for 411 for the Explorer LR, and then you just copy the uh, basically copy paste that whole dump into the CLI in Betaflight, and then make sure you save, and then after that you should have a working um, setup with the proper PIDs and uh, with all that stuff working GPS setup or GPS rescue working and the OSD should not um, flash or shift around anymore. At least I, I did, did go and test this and it seems like it's gone. It wasn't, wasn't happening when I did the testing after I, I put all these settings in and, and reverted back to 411. Anyway, if you're having some issues or don't understand how to flash firmware to your flight controller, I have a video on how to flash Betaflight 411. I'll link that video down in the description. You can refer to that. You can just follow the, the steps I showed you here in the basically just my screen grab of what it is. Pretty, it's pretty simple. And then make sure you just uh, copy paste that CLI dump into your CLI and you should have all the settings and everything ought to be working. Now these PIDs here that I have are slightly different. They're not factory PIDs. They're, I've adjusted them a little bit. So if you're not happy with them, then just use the factory PIDs from the 420 CLA dump that Flywood provided on their website. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.